a chi-square test for association would be appropriate here. This is because the researchers took a single sample and it has two categorical variables, sex of the baby and also the embryo's age at the time of transfer. And we're going to look for association between those two variables. Our null hypothesis is there is no association between the sex of the baby and the age of the embryo at the time of transfer. Our alternative hypothesis is there is an association between the sex of the baby and the age of the embryo at the time of transfer. Now before we draw a conclusion, let's look at our computer output and see what it gives us. So each cell in the computer output actually has three rows. This is our observed count. So there was 86 males that were born who were two to three days old when they were transferred as embryos. This is our expected count. Um, and this is our contribution to the chi-square test statistic. So we have that for each of the six cells in our table. Then on the outside, in the margins here, these are our totals. So this is our sample size, 416. There was a total of 192 embryos that were transferred on day six, and a total of 166 females. So overall, these embryo transfers seem to favor males. There was just a lot more males born than females. Down here, we have our chi-square test statistic. Our degrees freedom is two. That's because we have two columns and three rows. So two columns minus one is one, and three rows minus one is two. So two times one gets our degrees freedom. And here's our p-value. Now this is a low p-value. So we're gonna end up rejecting the null hypothesis. With the p-value of 0 0.009, which is less than alpha equals 0 0.05, we reject the null hypothesis. There is sufficient evidence to support the claim that there's an association between the sex of the baby and the age of the embryo at the time of transfer. Now for part D, let's look at the computer output one more time. Remember the third row in each of the cells is the chi-squared contribution. So our greatest contribution is right here for females who were transferred as a two to three day old embryo. Now the reason this cell has the most contribution to the chi-square test statistic is because overall males were favored in all the ages. And for days two to three, the males and females were almost the same. I mean, we only expected to have 67 females out of the 168 two to three day old embryo transfers, but we ended up with 82. So that was a pretty surprising result and it ended up contributing a lot to the chi-square test statistic. So we'll say with a contribution of 3.339, females who were transferred at day 2-3 contribute the most to the chi-square statistic. Under the assumption the sex of the baby and the age of the embryo are not associated, which means the null hypothesis is true, our sample result for females who were transferred at day 2-3 was the most surprising. So with that low p-value, we concluded that the sex of the baby is associated with the transfer day. If you look at the table again, it seems like the embryos that were transferred on days five and six tended to really favor male births, while the embryos transferred on days two, three were almost even with males and females. So there's a lot of evidence for an association. Like this video? Check out my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. It's got a hundred problems, all with videos just like this. You can pick it up on Amazon.com.